Welcome back outside live at McHale Center in front of the ever-growing memorial for the legendary basketball coach Lou Olson who passed away last night. Niner side's Taja Davis now has a reaction from the U of A president and a U of A professor. Everyone just had this total respect for the man. He was just fantastic. It's an, an incredible loss uh, for this uh, university, the conference, the city, and the state of Arizona. U of A President Dr. Robert Robbins, along with environmental science professor Dr. Ian Pepper, spoke to the man Lute Olson was. They both say the community lost an icon. As you look at his career, he's one of, I think, only four or five coaches who had 20 wins a year for 20 consecutive seasons, a Hall of Fame coacher. He said Olsen was not only a coach, but an educator, a mentor, loved by his players and the community. He just looked like this atypical basketball coach. He looked like a senator or a businessman or a president. Uh, and he was always so dapperly dressed and he had that beautiful silver hair, but, uh, just an incredible individual. While Robbins has only been at the U of A for three years, Pepper was working at the university during Olson's tenure. He gave so much pleasure to the community. Um, simply put, he was revered by the community, absolutely revered. And his impact on the university, I think, will always be remembered. He's certainly going to be one of the most important figures associated with the University of Arizona. Taja Davis, Kega 9 on your side. You know, and President Robbins is right. He looked more like a senator, a dignitary, than he ever looked at a basketball coach. But what a basketball coach he was. Oh, I tell you what, in 2016, I went to interview Coach Olson, and my boss said to me, hey, why don't you ask him if he ever wanted to go into politics? <laughs> so I did, and Lute gave an emphatic no. Yeah. Didn't interest him. I think he picked the right career path. I think it worked out very well for him.